Hey folks, we took a week off to get some makeup work done, but now it's June 1st through June 5th, and we've finished with the elements of art, and we're going to talk about the principles of art. When you consider the differences between elements and principles of art, think of the elements as the main pieces or the main components that make up an artwork, and the principles as the way those components or those pieces are used to make the artwork successful. So for example, you might have shape in an artwork, but then you repeat those shapes in a pattern to make the artwork more interesting. And coincidentally, pattern is the principle of art we are going to talk about first. Pattern is defined as an element that repeats in an organized way. Some artists who are famous for using pattern would be pop artist Andy Warhol or M.C. Escher, who we talked about in the last video. M.C. Escher was born in 1898 and he passed away in 1972. He was a Dutch graphic designer who became famous for his impossible drawings, his optical illusions, and his tessellations. Tessellations are patterns that fit together like a puzzle. So they fit together without any gaps or any overlapping. And what we're going to do for this week's assignment is make some tessellations of our own. So let's get started. All right, kindergarten through fourth graders. For this tessellation project, all you're going to need is a piece of lined notebook paper, a pencil, and then some markers or crayons or colored pencils to color in your tessellation. Now, this project might seem simple, but it's actually a little bit tricky. So if you're in kindergarten, first grade, maybe even second grade, you might wanna have a parent or a big brother or a big sister help you out with this. So the way we're gonna start is by making a vertical line between two of our lined notebook paper lines. So I'm just gonna draw a line like that. Next, I'm gonna make a horizontal line that follows along the notebook paper line, like that. Then I'm gonna make another vertical line and another horizontal line, stopping to when I get just below my first vertical line. And you're just going to continue that pattern all the way down the paper until you feel like stopping. So vertical, horizontal, Vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Just keep going. All right, just like that. Then you're gonna move down and we're gonna do the same line pattern two or three more times. Make sure that your vertical lines and your horizontal lines always line up with each other. And there you go. Now here's where it gets a little bit more complicated. I'm going to start back at the beginning again with my first vertical line, and I'm gonna draw a diagonal line from the top of this vertical line to the middle of the next vertical line like that. Then that line is going to go to the middle of the next vertical line like so and to the middle of the next one, and to the middle of the next one. And it's just going to continue to do that like a pattern. So what I am creating is arrows that fit together like a puzzle. I'm creating an arrow tessellation. So just continue to do that all the way down. So 
So middle of one vertical line to the middle of another vertical line. Middle to the middle. Take your time. All right, and there you have it. We have a um, arrow tessellation. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna get your crayons or your markers and you want to trace and color.